We're here with Harold Hay, who is an author of the book The Red Pill. And Harold is a media professional and a uh, very interesting background. And we kind of go way back from the days right. of the Christian so, music video shows. Right. So tell me a little bit about your background, first of all. I've been in media probably since about the mid-80s. I've done just about everything as a producer, director, writer, done music video shows, uh, media director at uh, churches. Um, took the Zone TV show, got it on 200 stations, 15 networks as a music video program, kind of like a Saturday Night Live format. And actually, we started out at a major 30 at a major 30 market on an ABC affiliate, so that's where it started and grew from there. So the idea was trying to create a program that could be relevant to young people and also have Christian Christian ideals, morals, and values embedded in the program. So you really have a heart for reaching out to both young people and just the culture in general through the through the media and this has sort of sparked some other projects that you're working on right now with the Media Mission School and this book that you've written. Tell me about the Media Mission School. Well Media Missionary School has been something I've been involved with for years and that's that's the practical application. If we're going to change culture I argue that we have to work within the framework of Hollywood and mainstream media and entertainment. If we're going to do that, then I think that if we look at Hollywood as a, as a legitimate ballot mission field and a people group with their own customs language, if we want to reach those folks, then we need to have, what, what does a mission field need? It needs missionaries. So that's really what Media Missionary School is about. It's about raising up, equipping, training, and supporting future media professionals as media missionaries to mainstream entertainment in Los Angeles and the broader entertainment industry. So that's the main concept that fuels it. Okay. Well, the book is called The Red Pill. Tell me where this name came from, the relevance of The Red Pill. Well, The Red Pill is inviting the reader, just like in the movie The Matrix, where the protagonist in the film, Neo, had a choice. He lived in an artificial world that was, cre that was being created that didn't really exist. It was a computer program that he lived in. He didn't realize that humanity had been enslaved. He's given an opportunity to go back to that world that's not real by taking the blue pill or to take the red pill, which offered him truth to see the reality of his life. That's the same way I'm, I'm, challenging, I'm challenging readers. As I look at the media today, as I look at the media culture, what I see is a, um, an artificial reality. I see a media that's telling us what to think, what to believe, how to live our lives. I'm saying, wait a minute, why do we accept that as real and normal? And the book is inviting you to say, wait a minute, is there another, is there another way? Can I, can I see the media in a different light? And that's kind of what the book is about. Okay. What are you hoping to accomplish by this book? I want to empower people. I, I think there's so many Christians I talk to who feel like we really can't change culture. The issues are so complicated in the media. But I think the book is practical applications of what you can do at the local level to make a major impact. You don't need to be a media professional. You don't even know, need to know anything about media to make a difference, to be honest with you. In this book, I share principles that you can start in the first day, the first week, the first month, in six months, one year, to really radically change our culture by implementing some very easy, cost-effective measures that don't require a lot of you know, red tape to start in your local church. Okay, the book is available now, I, I understand. Where can they buy the book? The book is available at Amazon.com. I think it's a great read and it'll, it'll challenge you. I, think, I don't think you'll be the same if you read this book. You'll have a different perspective and a different view of the media and your part that you play in solving uh, the media crisis that we're all facing. Okay, now you're probably also available as a speaker. I'm sure that you would probably love to come to groups and talk about uh, this yeah. um, media mission that you're a part of. So how would they contact you for that? Again, you can, uh, you can my email is herald at surfthezone.com or you can go to the website Media Missionary School. There's a whole list of seminars and information up there on how you can book me, but I would love to come in and do a media conference uh, and really bring these principles to your church. I think it could revolutionize the way you see ministry at a local level and globally. Very good. Well, it's so nice to catch up with you again, Harold, and good luck with your book and all that you're doing. Thank you. Thank you.